Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Classic Catcher with Plus. Can we get good mojo on the random, please? Good mojo. Looks like a middle character again. Oh, late character. Samson! Long time no see, buddy! At it again with the long hair! 39WAWH70. Alright, how do you play Samson? Well, not getting hit by a bomb on the first room would be very helpful. Getting Mr. Boom, or at least several bombs from this guy, would be very nice. You walked into your own bomb, you dummy. Why do that? Just come to me for lessons. I'll teach you how to play. I'm embarrassed for you. So slap in the face. So give me competition like this. It's shameful. What do you got for me? Oh, dude. I don't mind common cold. I'm spinning my wheels commentarily speaking. You know why? Because Samson does not come alive till floor two. My favorite live musical album, Samson Comes Alive. It's on floor two. When you get an arcade. Which is why every penny matters. And every bomb matters because, you know, they're liable to help us get pennies. But, ooh, it was a little close there. Um, if we can get... It doesn't even have to pay out with either Blood Bag or IV Bag. Obviously, IV Bag is kind of like the end goal. But um, it doesn't have to pay out with it right off the bat. All you need is the damage boost, the potential to get something that gives you a, like an automatic damage boost in the future, and uh, you know you're off to the races. Samson is a very, very, very good character. The one caveat is that if you don't get him into his niche, he can be a little less guaranteed to win. But you know, no character is really guaranteed if you want to get technical. I am going to use a bomb. In the end, like if you don't get. The standard Samson setup with like IV bag, you can still just have like a good run by getting good items. So that turned out pretty badly. If we get a key, we can always go blow up our donation machine inside of our shop, assuming we have one. And then it'll probably give us enough money to maybe get an arcade. I don't want to focus like exclusively on the arcade, but it is uh, it's of the utmost importance. Let's put it that way. No self sacrifice room either. Well. You know, you gotta, you gotta play the hand you're dealt. Lots of red hearts. Not a whole heck of a lot of anything else. I think I might try to use a bomb. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. We got one cent. <laughs> In hindsight, definitely would have rather uh, just saved it. For an opportunity to go to the, uh, or to blow up a Tinted Rock. But we got Red Hearts available, so don't sweat the damage you took just there. Just don't take any more, for God's sake, because I'll start to lose my mind. We'd only be one hit away from death, and that would be, uh, a little nerve-wracking. Ooh. Bad place to split you, honestly. I liked where you were at before. So you gotta recognize, this is all about, it is a tactical deal with the Devil setup for the next floor. Nothing else to worry about. Get your full HP, get the heck out of dodge. Eh, get to two and a half HP. Now, this is, is a little touchier than you might expect. Things could get spotty here. You really, really, really need to not squander this deal with the devil chance. And this room, dude, the spiders have been hitting me with some nasty patterns here. He's probably done. Just get a key, go back to the item room. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, get a bomb, go back to the item room. Because here's the thing, my brain is broken, and this is the ultimate test of the new year, new me philosophy, which is a phrase that I invented, and definitely did not hear elsewhere first. Um, new year, new me, doesn't use his orbital willy-nilly, just to, just to use it. Okay, you're getting me a little bit riled up with the amount of red hearts you've given me. Old NL? He would have already lost his red heart on this floor. He'd be using his orbital exclusively instead of situationally. And you know what? He'd be laughing it up. He'd be having a ball. Nah, 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 nah. We're not about that having fun lifestyle. We can have fun when the respon- Ooh, when the responsibility is very slightly taken care of. Um, this feels like a secret room to me, but I'm gonna save my bomb just in case we want to use it on... Come on. Just in case we want to use it on the boss. Bit touchy, huh? Bury me with my idiocy. 1% deal with the devil chance. Come on, boys. 
I've never asked for the 1%. Until now. You... <laughs> okay. Slow your roll. It's not all bad. Deal with the devil next floor. Still got an item room on this floor. And you got a damage bonus. More than you would like to have a damage bonus. We didn't get the 1%. That's very understandable. On the bright side, we did get little Steven, the greatest item mankind has ever seen. We have to accept, as much as it hurts, things... So they happen for a reason sometimes. The reason that this happened was not cosmic, oh, you know, there's a plan for everybody. It was more like you made a dumb mistake and you fought a difficult boss relative to the floor you're on. So yeah, you know, you ran into, you ran into trouble. That's all right, it happens. You know, the best drivers are not the people who drive with the best fuel efficiency, not the people who drive, you know, the most direct route. They're the people who, uh, you know, when things go wrong, they can pull out of a slide and go, Is everybody okay? Yes, that was originally going to be about piloting. <laughs> but then in my head, I was like, too many anecdotes regarding that recently. Ooh, the serpent's kiss. Everything's coming up, Samson. So let's just pretend that um, these were like preschool, you know? Doesn't matter. Now we're going down to first grade. We're going to get our deal with the devil, you know, as you'd want to do in first grade. Allow me to hydrate here for a moment. Curse of Darkness. I would love for Serpents... Okay, I don't even need to finish what I was saying. I was going to say I'd love for Serpents Kiss to pay out with the Demon Heart, but I'm, I'm sure you were aware of that, and uh, looky looky, made it happen. With that out of the way, keep all of your money, and all you do, you stack up some... Oh, you son of a gun. Stack up some red hearts if possible. Give yourself the best chance possible of an arcade on the next floor. And really, just live your life. You know what? I will take ma uh, Master of Unlocking. I think Child's Heart uh, is probably temporarily better. And actually maybe a lot better long term. And I think I've talked myself out of using Master of Unlocking. So if you'll excuse me. I'm going to... And I was, yes, looking for Tinted Rocks there. I'm going to go grab this. Please. I think Serpent's Kiss, and I've never looked it up because that's cheating apparently, but I'm pretty sure Serpent's Kiss is just a flat chance uh, to give you a demon heart. So I would, don't even, no, they gave us a demon heart here. I know this isn't how causality works, but at the same time, I'm like, you took my demon heart, that's supposed to be mine. All right, uh, I will definitely take a second level bandage girl. It's not as good as being able to take anything else, because the second level is not much better than a first level. But, you know, if we have no other choice, we might as well be happy about it. Put on a, put on a happy face. This is my happy face. If you can name that movie, I will give you 100 imaginary dollars. I'm holding the bill in my hand. If you get it right, just pluck it out. You gotta name the year and the actor who said it. That's right. Tommy Lee Jones, man of the house. Okay. Horf. Yeah. <laughs> Horf and all that. Um, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna we're gonna go for broke. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab Shade, respawn as Dark Judas. And then uh, never ever take damage again. Now, by the way, we do not at all care about a blood bank. I apologize if you were looking forward to seeing some good Samson stuff happen. Uh, really, the game should be apologizing, because I did everything in my power on those first two floors to get it set up. You know? I tried to get the money, I sacrificed a bomb in a place we shouldn't have done it, and uh, I, I really wanted that arcade. So, you and me, we're in the same boat if you're cheesed about it, I promise you that. I would do anything for blood. See, I was prototyping a song in my head to use if we got the blood bag or the IV bag. Anything you'd be dreaming of, but I just won't take. Isaac's heart. It would do anything. <laughs> I was thinking about that song because it came on the radio the other day. 
It has maybe the cheesiest line in rock and roll. And I really challenge you to think of a cheesier line than, Would you hold me down with holy water if I get too hot? Would you send me something, something in your heart? I have a, like, that's one of those songs that I like, but I feel like I shouldn't. And, uh... It's the first, I think it's the reason I like it, by the way, but it's the first song I can ever remember seeing the music video for. It was popular to an extreme degree right around the time that my brain was, like, turning on <laughs> and storing data. Would you hose me down with holy water if I get too hot? It's actually, it's got everything. It's got innuendo, uh, a religious allegory. Hose, I don't even, it's just a word you don't hear that much. Uh, and also the mental picture of Meatloaf in his Beauty and the Beast makeup throwing holy water. I mean, why is she a vampire? I don't understand. I never, I mean, the song's a little bit, you know, fantastical to begin with. But we don't need to talk about that. That's okay. All right, how's this run now? It's fine. And I mean fine in the good sense of the word. Like, our damage... I don't want to be negative, all right? But seven damages, Dark Judas is not that good. We're still waiting on some kind of damage upgrade. Um, and hopefully, I mean, I don't really want to deal with the devil right now, but, you know, if we can get a tears upgrade or a damage upgrade from this guy or on all stats up would give us some HP to play around with as well. I'm not going to be too, too picky about it. But if our HP picks up, everything in this run is, is A-OK, -okay, just fine. Presumably, we will get deals again in the future. We can fly. Oh, that's my bad. We're creating demon hearts. Not as many as I would like, but potentially more than I deserve, depending on your perspective. I still don't know if Serpent's Kiss is tied to luck, either. Whoop! I would love to get, like, a speed... Uh, here's the thing. I would always just love to get the best item available. I, I hope that's implicit. When people are like, you know, I'm like, I could really go for a speed upgrade right now. I, I don't think this is true, but is anybody out there going, why would he get a speed upgrade when he could just get an all stats upgrade that includes a speed up? Okay, sure, dude, sign me up. I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't want to sound like a jerk by always asking for, like, the best item that's ever existed in Isaac. Like, walking into every item room, like, man, I could really sure go for mom's knife right now. But, um... I would be happy to take a deal, uh, not a deal with the devil, but an item room, even though we already had ours, I've been talking for a while here, um, that compromised our speed in order to give us a lot of HP. Because we do have a blood bank available on this floor. I mean, I might actually take advantage of it as is. Nah, 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 nah. To get Blood Bag would be pretty good. We still don't have a space bar item. Now we do. And it's, I mean, an extremely great one. But it's almost, and this is going to come across as a little bit ridiculous, okay? Rest assured, I recognize that. Uh, it's almost too good. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we don't need to dedicate our space bar slot to HP. It's not bad. It's, it's quite the opposite. It's extremely great. But we could also, you know... You know, if anything, it might allow us to play the Blood Bank more. And I would love to get the Blood Bag. I would... Uh, IV Bag? Probably not, but... You never know, I suppose. And I'm happy with our Trinket, too. Like, a, a lot of things have gone right for us here. I think there is a case to be made, and I, I'm being genuine with you. Satanic Bible? You gotta consider it like... Whoops. Uh, maybe... Top five space bar item in the game. What do you put over it? There's not too many. Mega. I'll give you Mega. Doubtlessly. Uh, please refrain from suggesting Void because it could also have Satanic Bible inside of it. Sure. But if you're on your second floor item room, what would you rather have show up? Satanic Bible or Void? Well, how much HP? I mean in a reasonable use case, uh, Point Dexter. That's me talking to my past self. In a reasonable use case, most of the time, you'd rather have a Satanic Bible show up. I don't know if I can think of uh, of five items better than it. I would probably rather have Mega. It's better than Guppy's Head, which is obviously my favorite spacebar item. I use it every day. It's better than Shoop-de-Whoop, better than Straw. 
It's better than slander. It's better than lies. I promise the whole thing was not just a setup for that, but uh, maybe I would. Maybe I would reroll my whole run. What's it worth to you? Ooh. So we're actually uh, we're cruising now. Now, as much as I said Satanic Bible is better than Shoop the Whoop, there's a slight situationality to it, which is a real word. You don't have to look it up. I looked it up for you just now. Multitask it. I looked it up on my HOTUS. <laughs> um, it is, uh, you know, we, we have HP, and it looks like we're going to continue to have quite a lot of it. So, I mean, at this point, you might as well, like, get some damage out of these guys and walk into them. Raises our damage overall. So what I was getting at is I would have taken Shoop the Whoop. But if we don't have to, we don't have to. And that's okay, too. So again, pretty much like, go ahead, damage me, please. I think these are sensible approaches. Please damage me. Now, if we can do that every floor, I'm going to stop talking crap about Satanic Bible, which has now <laughs> basically enabled us to get to 17 damage. And that's as high as it's going to go, but still. Because it doubles, right? It doubles your base damage. It's an indication that our base damage is still kind of crummy, huh? For where we're at in the game, at least. And only one key. But those are our two major complaints, I guess. Anyway. You get the two keys, okay. You get the idea. Everything's going fine. I'm just, you know... The further up we get, a couple of things happen. I feel happier, because I think, you know, honestly, I'm giving you a good show. I'm, I have to admit that on a meta level, and I've said this a couple times, but I'm going to do it again. Eden's Blessing. Dude, I love to see it. Thank you. Um, first off, we're looking like Gary Oldman when he transforms into a bat in Dracula. If you think that's a spoiler, I <laughs> implore you to look up a little bit more about Dracula. You appear to be ignorant to some of his powers. And that's okay. You know, everybody's got to start somewhere. But... I feel, uh, like, genuinely, embarrassingly proud of myself for the fact that after losing the streak in a hard-fought, semi-embarrassing way, we didn't go, well, screw this, and lose ten runs in a row. We said, you know what, what do you do when you fall off the horse? Get back on. And that's exactly what we did. What a uh, slap in the face here. Health. I love the tears up. I actually like the HP upgrade as well. Now, I will go to the shop. I think it's a sensible approach. And I'm all about sense and sensibility now, you know? I don't know what that means. I've never read any Jane Austen novels. I'm just familiar because I've seen it at the video store about a thousand times growing up. Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Much Ado About Nothing. That's Shakespeare. I love this Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music as I figure out the right thing to do. Voida. I will use a few. You know what? We should actually maybe go as much as four for future deals with the devil. Why four? We don't get anything out of that, unfortunately. Because um, I said so. You got a problem? But then beyond that, uh, we're getting so many demon hearts that we can trade away our red hearts and uh, hide the scars to fade away the shake-up you wanted to, and then we can uh, you know, refill them all as is right now. Like, What's the point of having all these demon hearts if we're not using them for, uh, for anything? Might as well take advantage of the Situation at hand. Plus, who knows? Blood bank situation on this floor, maybe? Guess we'll never know. Will I do boss rush? Uh, probably not. There's a few caveats, though. If we make it super in time, if we have a teleport card, uh, if we manage to get our damage bonus high enough that it we'd be crushing, especially if we got, like, more damage upgrades over the course of the floor to begin with. We can afford to play pretty aggressively, because, like... I mean, you can see for yourself. <laughs> HP's looking relatively good. Dude, small rock. Love it. Don't care about our speed right now. Very happy to see some damage. Oh, dude. Okay. Now, I know I said I didn't care about speed, but like... In that context, I didn't care about speed. I would love to see Blood Bag. Would I take IV Bag? I don't know. I'm, I'm just stealing myself against the possibility that it's going to show up. I would rather not have to make the choice, even if it's the right choice. 
For now, I'm just hoping we get free HP and speed. Please. Oh my god, the money. If you got the money, honey, I got the HP. But I would rather you had the blood bag. I mean, it's my blood. What are you doing with it? I, I can't... I can't be mad or happy, I guess. We might come back for you, but I gotta... You know, the run has been a little insulting with the amount of blood bank shenanigans. First, not enough money to even get a blood bank. Then it's like, oh, here's... You know, you've given me 40 plays. I'm not giving you a payout. You know? If you disrespect me, I don't need this. You know? This run's going just fine. We've done well for ourselves. And it's completely not due to a roll of the dice. <laughs> we fell into success the way everybody does. Accidentally completely screwing up their game plan. Losing their deal with the devil that they wanted. Getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. They just happened to carry them to victory. I.E. all skill. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, you might as well do something like that just so we can get a charge here. Shop. Oh, dude. So I think we're actually probably going to do boss rush. But we should buy these. That's a teleport card. Uh, we definitely want humbling bundle. We don't want to go too deep on this, theoretically, but like spider mod is fine. Um, starter deck is also great. We'll grab this. Just trying to keep us on schedule as well. Uh, we don't care about Potato Peeler, even though that would be kind of funny. And we'll blow this up one time, then get the heck out of town. Uh, we don't need the map, so I'm just going to go. Red Hearts might have been worth it. Dude, we got very lucky the boss fight was right away here. Uh, and what do you got for me? Two of clubs? Well, two of clubs. Whole ace of clubs. All right. If you get a deal with the devil, you basically have to choose. And I should probably choose the deal with the devil. We could maybe do both if we don't have Krampus. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's all academic. Going here. Uh, dude, I mean, it's not amazing, but I'll take SMB Superfan, get the heck out of town, and then... Alright. So this one has come together. There's two very pivotal... Well, there's like many inflection points over the course of an Isaac run. It's like a human being's life, you know? Birth, um, first day of school. I'm trying to think of like all the important milestones. That you have. I'm not talking about sentimental stuff like, you know, losing your baby teeth. I'm talking about like, you know, public school graduation, high school graduation, getting your driver's license, first serious relationship, you know, first day of work, having your own kids. There's a few inflection points in your life that kind of like, they they form the scaffolding of, of how things are going, I suppose. You know, various other stuff happens in there. Medical issues, etc., etc. On an Isaac run, there's kind of signposts like that, you know? Your first deal with the devil uh, room, that's like your first day of school. You get an idea for how the, you know, your run's going to be. Do you get along with the other deals? You know, do you have a natural talent towards a certain area? You know, it's, it's valuable. You get valuable information. And then... Whether you can do boss rush is like seeing if you're getting into an Ivy League school. Getting the boss rush is like graduating valedictorian. And today's, and my perspective on this has changed. I famously, and everything I do is famous, unfortunately. I just, I walk out of my house, click, click, click. Oh, it's the paparazzo. Uh, don't you mean paparazzi, NL? No. Paparazzo is singular. It's just my mom taking photos. And I'm like, Mom! Stop it! I gave you my Instagram. Anyway, where am I going with this? What I, I used to say, every run is capable of getting to boss rush. I believe that that is foolish. Now, um, even though I, I had a higher streak then, than I have ever had since. I think we take everything. I mean, we, we've got the, we got the leverage here. I think we're totally cool with this, yeah. Just don't ruin this run. At this point, you never live it down. I don't know. And then, like, if we go fight Hush, it's like being the first man on the moon. Like, we, we got accepted by NASA to be in the space program or something. I don't know. I haven't really thought of the metaphor too much. It pretty much just came over the top of my head. I can already, by the way, I'm just going to head the comment off of the pass. NL, if you said Guppy's head is worse than Satanic Bible... Why did you take Guppy Set over Satanic Bible? It's because we already have a passive Satanic Bible in the form of 
Serpent's Kiss. I would say about once every six rooms, maybe a little more often, honestly, we're getting Demon Hearts. It's like if we had a passive Guppy's head in the form of Guppy, we'd probably be a little bit more likely to fill the hole on our run that would relate to HP, because we'd be swarming with flies. Oh, this is a good one. Patio Lanterns. You really feel the heat when you have a... a long fight. Oh, I really thought we were, like, slightly okay there. Can you be slightly okay? It's like the tagline of every movie Zach Braff made between 2004 and 2012. Okay, let's go for Guppy Dreams. Dude, don't scare me like that. You're not supposed to talk. You're ruining my moment. I'm the only one supposed to talk during these videos. And then occasionally Isaac can go... <laughs> Love it. Okay. Where do we go from this run? Well, we win. Let's just focus on that. Uh, not to be, you know, like, take some of the uh, intrigue out of it, but this is, is going to be a very simple win. I didn't fight Hush because I'll just level with you. I want to fight Hush under, like, exactly two circumstances. One is I have Guppy. One is I have a Chaos card. If I don't have either, the odds are low. If I had just an incredible Tech X run, I might consider it as well. We gotta consider, though, we got Eden's Blessing. Eden's Blessing is, um... Wait. E. Dun's Blessing. E. E. Dun's Blessing. Just the tears up in the item room. It's kill or be killed. I can't wait to see what my next run has. I hope I'll be thrilled. I, I, I'm feeling gonna be a keeper run. Better keep my wits about me or my streak is done. Okay, so, like, I just felt a little inspiration, and I thought that... That was a good thing for us to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. What was that guy's name? Brad Neely? I think that was Brad Neely. Not the former right winger for the Boston Bruins. Anyway, we got Eden's Blessing. In case you didn't follow the song, it was very literal. Um, if you didn't follow the song, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what our item is going to be there. I also, embarrassingly, I do like the Elton John thing. Not that one. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Thank you for Bookworm. Uh, which I think we'll take, actually. I do the thing where, like, I on my keyboard, I put my hands up like I was playing the piano. Despite it being a rap song. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling I'm on. Maybe it's the lack of sleep, dude. Which is dangerous, because that might mean that I'm very, very off. But I just feel on. But hey, it's better to look good than to feel good. Words to live by. That's why I'm a very vain person who takes good care of myself. Um, and doesn't eat 100 grams of cheese daily. I'm sorry. Blame it on the Jarlsberg. <laughs> Blame it on the Jarlsberg. There we go. Keep it going. I, I, look, I know there's demon hearts, okay? We don't need them. We're not gonna need them. I'm sorry to tell you. I know you want me to be punished for my hubris. I kind of do as well, because it'll reset me, put me in a good spot for the next game. But, you know, it, this was gonna be my last Isaac recorded today. As soon as you get Eden's Blessing, that's like a recipe for sorry, honey. I gotta stay one more Isaac run at the office, you know? I gotta follow this through with some continuity, see where it goes. I think I'm gonna pop it. I don't think we've, we've taken one hit, right? So like, if we ever feel the need to... Uh... Oh, actually, just hit me once, please. Hit me, please. Thank you. Uh, actually, hit me twice. Oh, it won't be necessary, I suppose. Um, we wanna grow our damage as much as possible. Go ahead, hit me. All right, I want you to hit me. Uh, I don't know why I always do the Joker as if he was played by Richard Nixon. People are gonna know whether or not their president is a crook. And I am not a crook. It's more of a Futurama, Richard Nixon, but that's okay. Hey, we got Demon Hearts, so if you just wanna, like, walk into me... Yeah, go ahead and do it again. Give me... Buff me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. 
Hey, I don't want spirit arts. I'm trying to buff my damage. Spirit arts is very nice of you, but you, you know, you're just making it take longer. Now I gotta walk into everybody again. I do want to open that. All right, this is the kind of run. It, it had elements of Dark Judas, but Bloody Lust, much like a Samson run should be expected to have. Um, I'm liking this damage stat, even though I have no context for how much damage 233 is. What I have learned is that it appears the amount of damage you do is your damage stat times 10. Now, I don't know why it's a composite like that, but uh, you know, you add a little scalar value in there and it opens up all sorts of game design space, I suppose. Beautiful. No, I will not do the void. One day, perhaps, but for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the freestyle rap. Of course, if you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Eager to see what that Eden's blessing gives me. See ya!